Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. From user. Secondly, we got to do the concatenation means joining the first name with the last name and then display the output. Four steps only. So this is a program that I am going to write to accept the first name and last name of a person and then display his full name. So first we got to do the declaration and then accept the input, concatenate and then display the steps. Okay. So how do we accept the input? We have input box. Open the bracket. Do you see? It is asking us to enter the prompt. Prompt is nothing but this is a message that we are going to give to the user. Let's say enter your first name is my message to the user. I type it here. Comma. It is asking me to enter the title also. Do you see here? Below title is highlighted. I can write it as first name and then give some option over here okay and then close it so now when we are entering the first name or the user is entering the first name we got to collect it somewhere okay so we will say v first name in this variable okay we call it as a variable variable is nothing but it is like a container which is going to store certain value for you. We got to declare it. We first name. Okay. Similarly, we would be requiring the last name wherein we have to store the last name. And then we full name. Okay. Dim is nothing but Lavanya. It is a keyword that is going to declare the variable. Means it is telling the QTP that please, you know, reserve the space to store some values. Okay. There is no keyword Manisha for integer. You got to, you know, convert it. You got to concatenate it. Okay. Then. Now V full name equal to. V first name. Plus. V last name. Paste it here. And then finally, we got to display the result. So to display the result, we have two options. One is we can do the print and then, sorry, the V full name we got to display, right? So I select it, paste it here. Then message box, we have the V full name. Do you see? So this is my program. What am I doing over here? I am trying to accept the first name and last name of the person. Concatenate it means join it and display the full name. Okay. Now we declare the variables here like dim v first name, v last name and then v full name. 
so now we are telling the user to enter the first name and then we are going to give the title this is the default value it will be stored in the v first name and in the v last name we are asking him to enter the last name and then we get the last name title and then we enter it as qa okay then concatenate it v first name plus last name and then store it in the full name then for printing we have the print statement message box so once i execute okay this will be more clear to you rather than explaining like this orally okay fine then let me disable the run option and then we click on the run button let's see how this executes okay so do you see over here it is asking me to enter the first name do you see where is first name here it is enter your first name and by default it is showing you ritu click on okay now it is telling enter the last name which is like qa again i click on okay do you see message box can you see here on my screen ritu qa this is called as the message box so the message box is going to display the message then where is this print going this print is here do you see this is called as qtp print log okay dim is nothing but uma it is going to declare the variable okay it is like you know telling the qtp that reserve the space on the disk okay is it clear everybody any doubts in this program okay now let's execute it okay we executed it there is another program that you got to write now so you got to write a program to add two numbers try this program yes bharti for numbers also you know we do not have any option we got to go for dim only that is the only keyword that is available for declaring the values okay go ahead can you try to write um, try to write a program to add the two numbers Okay sure Saujanya I can show it to you Okay um Yes Lata we are going to use the VB scripting that is the visual basic in order to do the testing okay Okay now try to write a program to add the two numbers uh no pamni see here i have given v you know just to show that this is a variable okay you can give a b c x y z whatever you want but you know if you give like a b c and x y z basically you do not understand it okay throughout the program so that is the reason you got to give the names which you can understand the variable names okay
Okay, try to write it. Program to add the two numbers. Okay. So what is the modification that we got to make? Instead of first name, I will say first number. Okay. So I will be declaring this as V first number. Then V second number. Right? And then V sum. Alright? Okay. So now, first of all, I have to accept the first number. So V first number equal to, then we will say the user, enter the first number. And then this is a title. So we will enter it as 10. Okay? Um, v is not default Swarna. If you do not want, you know, you can skip it. I'm just giving it, okay, even though like you have written like hundreds of lines of code, later you understand that, okay, V is like, you know, for the variable. This is a variable. So you should not get con uh, confused, right? There will be function name, variable name, lot of things will be there. So better declare it here properly so that, you know, throughout the program you are able to understand it. Okay. Then V last name. Sorry, second number. And then instead of 10, we give it as 20. Okay. Okay, Manisha, VB scripting it is used, you know, like for programming the... Um, yeah, for advanced programming, we use it, okay? You can program your script using this VB script. Like you want to execute a particular set of statements based on the condition, okay? You want to display some intermediate value, okay? Then we add it over here. And then, now we will run this. So the first number is 10. Second number is 20. Okay, so what is this result we are getting? How much should we get if we are 10 and 20? Yes, how much should we get? 30. But why is it we are getting 10 and 20 over here? It is not adding, right? Why it is not adding? Let's check, okay? we got to go to the debug mode and then we will be checking. Yes, it is exactly, you know, concatenating. Means 10 is concatenating with 20. 10 is joining with 20. Okay. Let's see what is the problem over here. I'll do one thing. I will save this program over here as addition and we will look into it in the next session. Okay. Everybody? Okay. So we will reopen the same program and then we will try to do the modification. We will check where exactly the error is. Bharti, you are having the same problem? Okay, not to worry. Okay, I will solve it in the next session. Okay, everybody? Okay, then. Alright, um, so we will end the session here and we will meet tomorrow. Alright, take care everybody. Good day. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you are interested in a demo program, please register on our home page on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. 
experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.